Twenty-one, twenty-six. Close with you, Lori. Wait, who's Lori? Who's in the right now? Okay. So we'll try to contact him. We're going to go. We're going to get you over to the other side. We're going to get everything set up. There's no reason that we can't. Seven one eighty-four. You can cancel. Alright. Because I do have to live with Twenty-one, twenty-six. Twenty-one, twenty-six. Want me to go straight to the parkers and then? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the uh, Oakland Police. You mean go to Oakland Police? Yeah. Is right. that where the wand is? Yeah. Okay. I got drafted back to the Rams when they were in St. Louis. And they got traded to the Jets back in like 16, 15. Running back. It was inevitable that you were going to have to go through something. So. Yeah, I knew that. I, was, I figured I'd do all this, like getting stationed or whatever. Yeah. The, uh, the Oakland police said they just wanted a statement from me. Because I wasn't, I wasn't running or nothing like that. I, had, I knew no idea about the war. I had no idea. I was in another state because I had to leave. I had to leave Florida because it just wasn't safe for me mentally or whatnot. So um, it just—it's unfortunate because at the end of the day, it's like you I mean, got any family here? No, sir. All the families in Alabama? In Nashville. Nashville. And it's unfortunate because. I just got a rehab for anxiety and depression like eight months ago. I dropped everything to come down here and support the mother of my child in her last trimester and the baby. And she, I let her know that I wasn't trying to be with her or nothing like that. And she just, this is a case of just bitterness, man. That's why she did this. The whole assault thing, she staged it. She set me up. You know, I just found out a week ago that she was having, she had a, an affair with my attorney. You know what I'm saying? With your attorney that's meeting you today? my financial advisor, I mean. Our finance. Yeah. So, and he was, uh, he was my, one of my teammates in college. So, and I wasn't, uh, like I said, I dropped my job up in Nashville back in early this year. Went to rehab in March. Um, got out in April, came straight down here, just trying to be here a supporter. Unfortunately, I came down here and played house with her. She thought something else was going to be on, and she tried to make everything else about everything else except for me supporting her and the baby. So, um, yeah, I filed a petition on her to just get my rights on paper. And she's just been, I don't know if it's postpartum, but she's just been kind of unstable ever since. So, how old's your baby? He's only four months. She knows on the, that's the only reason I came down. So I wasn't allowed to see my child because when I come over to the house, I'm disrespectful because I don't acknowledge her. Whatever that means. The whole thing was staged. All she's trying to do is get money out of me. She got a reaction out of me. She knew I was down. She knew I was going through anxiety and depression. She knew I was trying to close this gap that's between me and my son. And she's just upset that she got caught. And she's upset I'm not taking care of her like she expected. And now she took it this far. Did you have any luggage? I know, so this is all I broke. I, I, I just took, hopped on the flight just to come turn myself in. Okay, right just thing making to, sure. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. And like I said, I knew nothing about the war. Until yesterday, I tried to turn myself in in Nashville. They told me there was no warrant in there. They even checked the national uh, database too. Deep breaths. I mean, it's, 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 through, it's on. It was on, inevitable. It, you was going to yeah, go through something. I, yeah, I, I knew that. So, I was, yeah. I was totally fine turning myself in. Yeah. I wasn't trying to run. I just yeah. didn't know nothing about the warrant. Yeah. And I was trying. We've been looking for it all day, and it only posted to like four, six o'clock this. Well, four o'clock this afternoon. But things like that, the best thing you can do is get it over with. Go do what you gotta do. Yeah. You know. And this, I mean, this is, this it's, is it's just- It's added a, stress with it hanging over your head. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I understand. So, I was, trust me, I wasn't stressed. I was willing to do whatever to, you know what I'm saying, make the process as simple as possible. But this is just a uh, case of just, girl is just bitter that I don't want to be with her. And she's just trying to destroy my whole reputation because of this shit. It was fucked up that I reacted the way I did. I don't know what man, how any man could have handled that situation. You say too much. Yeah.